Hey there guys, this is Indium here. Welcome you to my brand new LP. If you've already played this game, then you probably already know what game it is. And if you watched my last episode of The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, you probably already know what this game is. But yeah, this game is quite popular, so I imagine most of you know what it is. Um, this game was kind of mid-requested by Galactic Cake. Um, he told me that I should do this game next because he's been currently playing it and he's been enjoying it, so he thought that it'd be cool for me to do this as well. Um, yeah, so this is actually quite a fun game, very funny. It's got like the same kind of rareware humor that Conker's Bad Fur Day has. Uh, we're, we're just going to get started on here, we're not going to watch the introduction because like, I don't really have anything to talk about over the introduction because we're seeing characters that we haven't already seen before and it's spoiling um, things too. <laughs> right, so 1998, wow, made by Rareware, yep. Right, so we're going to jump straight on into this. I'm doing this with a keyboard by the way, so if you notice any like, I don't know, crappy gameplay throughout the LP, by me, like if you see a bunch of fails and stuff, it's because I'm playing it on the keyboard. I'm not playing it on the controller because I did want to try. What the hell is going on? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> a random warning decided. It okay, what's it doing? What the hell? Uh, CC cleaner just wants to rape my screen <laughs> right now. I don't know if you can actually see that, but uh, that might not show up on the screen. I don't know. Ding pot, ding pot by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. <laughs> yes, you are right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Wow, you are so vain, Grunty. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, but there is this girl. Oh no, not some girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. Well, wow, there's some pretty cheesy rhymes there. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. So now Grunty's pissed off because Tootie's got better looks than Grunty. Damn, son. Stuff's going down. Oh, happy music. <laughs> so yeah, I couldn't get my PlayStation 3 controller to work on here. I tried to do it. I hooked up by the USB and got Motion Joy Plus and it didn't even work on my computer. I downloaded it for 64-bit and apparently it's compatible with Windows 7. But remember when I did my Majora's Mask LP? I actually did that LP with a controller, like the first half of it, but then the second half of it I started using the keyboard because it stopped functioning halfway through that LP. But Ocarina of Time was all done with a control stick by using the PlayStation 3 controller and that very same program. Wake up, I want to go on an adventure too. Don't we all, Kazooie? If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks, and ugly she'll be. You can't steal someone's looks, that's just crazy talk. Is that your brother? The only way you can take someone's looks is if you actually cut their face off and then wear it as a mask. <laughs> that's kind of sadistic. Up there in the sky. Who's up there in the sky? Is it a plane? Is it a bird? Is it Superman? Is it Grunty the Witch? Yes it is. <laughs> Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Oh no! Oh no! She's being mentally abused! Holy crap, this is child molestation on screen and I'm recording this crap. Don't scratch and bite my little bear, you'll soon be bigger underwear. Oh, what? You'll, s <laughs> you'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody, help! Warning! Explicit content! Little girl being molested by fat green witch! What? Yawn, what do you want? Because Louis. Let's get outside. There's trouble. <laughs> okay, Kazooie just lost balance. Uh, he's been drinking too much of the alcohol. It's too much Bacardi or um, Bailey's. Bailey's is actually a really nice alcoholic be beverage. It's really nice. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. 
I'm Banjo, and this he this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? <laughs> Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Gigi. We'll get her back. <laughs> Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Uh, press A if you want me to teach you uh, some basic moves, or press B if you think you are already good enough. Uh, we'd like some help, Bottles. What do we do? Explode this er Explode this area? <laughs> okay, then I'm going to get a bomb, and I'm going to blow up this whole area. And then, um, nuclear warfare will ensue. Okay, so we've got to uh, go ahead and get some tutorial crap from, um, Sergeant Hartman. Yeah, <laughs> Sergeant Hartman from, um, friggin', uh, Full Metal Jacket. I think that's what his name is. Uh, something Hartman, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They are on the yellow C buttons. Jeez, what's that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap R to move the camera behind you, Banjo. Is that all worm breath? <laughs> no, hold R to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. <laughs> I'll, I'll um, see you in the next molehill. Alright, so yeah, you can use the camera to change around. This episode is just basically going to be me doing the tutorial stuff. Um, and then in the next episode we'll get into some more action, but... Yeah. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Pa, what do moles know about jumping? <laughs> more than you, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Damn, son, those insults! Whoa, holy crap! Wait, I can't even jump. Oh, yeah. Right, there you go. Yeah, I'm jumping up and down like a crazy person. Come on, feathers, you can give him a hand. What? Well, I'll look silly, I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. Now, this is the jump that I'm really worried about executing on the keyboard, because this is not easy. Come on, Banjo, jump, then press A again in the air. Oh, wait, no, I can't use the um double jump yet. That's it. We're ready to move on. Well, I can't use the high jump and then the double jump. Not until you learn the one first. Uh, you must stand like this. What, wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold Z, then press A for the mighty flip-flap jump. Right, so can we do this? Cause, oh, right, okay. Because on some emulators, they don't allow you to press Z and A at the same time. Uh, yeah, Z and A, because that's what it is on the N64, but... Um, on the keyboard, for me, it's Z and X, and sometimes on some emulators, they don't actually allow you to do that, so I'm actually kind of lucky that this game is so generous as to let me use A and Z at the same time. <laughs> <coughs> right, so here's our next mole here. What's it going to teach us this time? Mr. Mole, give us your mighty wisdom. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. <laughs> Use the control stick to swim on the surface, to swim underwater, press B to dive. Go on, give it a try. Alright, so we can also dive now. So we're going to use our diving abilities. We don't need the Zora scale for this crap. We can just swim under here as, and use as much air as we can. Because, yeah, as you can see, there is an air meter on the side there. But you you have to use, I think it's B to get a really good boost underwater to make you swim faster but you can also paddle underwater too which if you want to adjust yourself and that's probably the best thing to use to like if you need to go through a tunnel or something underwater and you want to try and get your position allocated right then you can use um, the A button to paddle around so then you can get a good uh, good allocation so then you can go through the tunnel without any worries Right, so here we go, there's a honeycomb up there, and I want to try and get it, but... Oh, right, okay, I've got the honeycomb, but I don't know about that extra life. Yeah, these are extra lives right here. Oh, okay, I got it. Now, I don't know why, getting that honeycomb, when I played it for the first time on the emulator with a keyboard, I struggled to get that, and now I just got it on my first try, that's crazy. 
Okay, so maybe this game won't be so bad doing it on the keyboard after all. Considering the controls are kind of like Mario 64, and me and Tyler are doing that race uh, on Mario 64. Yeah, if you also want to check that out, you can. I've got the playlist on my channel, but I'm also using that with a keyboard too. I'm not using a control stick or anything. Hey, Banjo, I hope you are not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying root munching. <laughs> Not yet, Banjo. Jump onto a tree, then use the control stick to climb up or down. Ah, handy dandy indeed. Right, so, yeah, also if you forget the moves, like if you're a first time player of this game and you forget the mechanics or something, you can easily just go up to the same molehill again and speak to Bottles and he'll give you the same information again, because the molehills won't disappear or anything. But once you've got all the honeycombs inside inside Spiral Mountain, this world is pretty much completed. Like There's nothing else that you can do here. Whereas in Banjo-Tooie, the sequel to this game, there's a hell of a load of things you can do in Spiral Mountain. It's ridiculous. My beak barge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some legs short stuff. Hold Z, then press B for a powerful beaky barge. Alright, so okay, we can use... A beat while well, the freaking glitch, <laughs> the the texture just glitched. Then that's cool. Yeah, you can use the beak barge to destroy several obstacles, and some of these things can reveal stuff inside them, such as honeycomb pieces, which this one's about to reveal right now. There you go. But I think you have to destroy every single one of those boulders to actually get the honeycomb piece. Like it, it's not like randomized or anything. You have to destroy every single. Um, every single rock to get the honeycomb piece. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the cool swipe attack. What is it? I must know. <laughs> Simply press B when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? <laughs> Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's Topper, wh whacking Banjo. Alright, so this is Bugs Bunny's favourite meal of the day. Well, it's my favourite meal of the day too. Come here, freaking carrot. <laughs> I'm going to claw you to death. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. I don't worry, Kazooie, you'll get something soon. And I think this is where she's going to learn her attack move. Oh, wait, not yet. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. Right, so you can also roll attack as well. And Kazooie will start learning some moves um, straight after this attack, I'm pretty sure. Stop rolling, I feel sick. <laughs> there you go. It's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. It had better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the rat attacked rat by jumping and pressing B in the air. Now where's Collie Wobble? Alright, so you can also use airborne attacks by using Kazooie. This attack is really handy. It's probably the most common attack that I use is the jump attack like that. I don't know why I just find using that attack is so much more useful on enemies that can fly in the air. You can't if because some enemies do dive at you, so you can roll into them, but it's much easier to just jump and peck them. And enemies that are on the ground, I just like to roll. I never use the claw swipe. Never. Uh, the claw swipe is the most useless attack, I think, in the game. <laughs> Alright, so now as you can see that we just learnt our attack moves, that enemies have started to spawn in Spiral Mountain, so this place is kind of getting a bit dangerous around here. Alright, so now that we've learnt all our moves and stuff, which I'm pretty sure we have, we can go to the top of Spiral Mountain now and make way for Grunty's place to rescue our sister, because apparently uh, Grunty is jealous. <laughs> A jealous old hag. Well done guys, you are ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are, show us the way, bottle boy. I fixed the, I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Uh, thanks, Bottles, for wishing us the best of luck on our journey. Right, so we're going to go inside the witch's mouth now, which will take us into her lair.
I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a cutscene coming up. Alright. I don't know how much time I have, but... Because <laughs> with Fraps, it, like, records 10-minute footage, but then as soon as it's recorded its 10-minute footage, it moves on to the next video. So what I'll have to do is, like, merge the two videos together to make one whole video. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I am tired of being an ugly witch. <laughs> Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo! Help! I don't know what they're planning on doing to her, but jeez. <laughs> there he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Right, so you know what, guys? I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on the next video. So, in the next episode, let's play Banjo Kazooie. Um, we shall make way for the first world, I guess. So, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on the next video. And goodbye.